Maybe you're asking yourself, Squarespace versus WordPress, which one is the winner? Should you switch? Maybe you're on Squarespace right now and you're looking, eh, do I need to graduate Squarespace and move on to WordPress and put, like, take my website seriously? Or maybe you're just starting to build your blog or your website and you're trying to decide between the easy to use drag and drop editor of Squarespace or the somewhat confusing uh, world of WordPress where it seems to be never ending between themes, plugins, hosting, uh, what else, uh, custom coding, PHP, what the heck is that? Uh, it gets a little confusing, right? So my hope is for this video to show you a little bit uh, about what happens when you move from Squarespace to WordPress specifically. So uh, this is going to be somewhat of a Squarespace versus WordPress comparison. Um, although I won't be showing direct apples to apples, I am going to be showing what happened when I took my client's website, willgibbons.com, from Squarespace to WordPress. Now, Will was a blogger, but predominantly a YouTuber, and still is on in the 3D rendering space, and he posts a lot of videos on tutorials, and he's always had the blog as a place to have a, you know, a, a written documentation of these tutorials, um, and to capture email addresses, and to sell his courses. Now, he did realize that he needed to take his website a little more seriously and hedge his bets against YouTube, because currently he's getting all of his views and all his traffic from YouTube, and he really wanted to make sure that he had a solid website, and with the Core Web Vitals update that happened last year, he knew it was time to graduate Squarespace and move on to WordPress. Uh, he specifically wanted to use Carbonate, which is now the only WordPress theme that I recommend. It's blazing fast. Um, now it is super simple, so it will require a bit of customization in order to make it work. Um, I mean, it's it's great out of the box, but if you want to make it like real polished and be it your own, then it might take a little bit of work. I'd be happy to work with you to make that happen. If at any point you say, hey, uh, I'm raising my hand and saying, uh, I can't do this anymore, please let me know in the comments down below uh, if I need to go in depth with anything. You know, if I lost you at a certain point in the video, please let me know and I'd be happy to make another video touching up on it or just responding in the comments. Um, that's where this is really going to help more people out, is if we have a solid uh, breadth of information for people to understand all of this mumbo-jumbo of hosting a, web, uh, a website and all that comes with it. So, without further ado, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee, and then I'm going to show you what willgibbons.com looks like right now, and show you a little bit of data behind uh, when we moved and what things look like now and kind of moving forward from there. Okay uh, So sit tight. I'm hoping to make this a fast video But you know, I I can start chatting and this coffee can kick in and whoop Before you know it we're 20 minutes in and I'm going what the heck just happened But I'm trying to pack in as much value as possible So please if you found any of this information helpful, you know give it that that thing that goes bing uh, really helps the algorithm, really helps to uh, get this word out there. Um, and if you want more updates on this build in particular and others like it, be sure to subscribe. You know, I hate doing that like YouTube play at the beginning of the video, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, so willgibbons.com. You can go check it out for yourself right now. It should look somewhat the same unless you're looking at this in the future. Um, or like too far in the future. So um, most of this looks very similar to the Squarespace site. I will try to flash an image of what it used to look like. Uh, he tried to model Carbonate as much as possible on Squarespace before moving. Um, and basically the, his homepage is links to every blog post that he has, which is all tutorials and in articles around 3D rendering. This nice little snippet here, this lead magnet, it, he is using Active Campaign, and we put this in here with Carbonate. So if you take a look at how it goes down, it gets rid of that image, and so it looks really nice, super responsive, loads really fast, which we will get into in a moment. Um, and you know, he's got a very simple navigation: the home page, he's got the about page, and then he's got his courses, which goes to Podia, 
Uh, so it goes to courses.willgibbons.com where all of that information is. And so then you can go back here and take you back home. And uh, as you can see, these uh, articles are definitely in depth. Uh, you know, it's not any uh, anything light. You know, we got a YouTube video in most all of these uh, posts. And then uh, lots of images. And then we have multiple opt-ins uh, throughout the website. This is the really nice thing about Carbonate specifically, but WordPress has good functionality for this as well is just making it so that you can have different opt-ins depending on the category of uh, post. So the category of the blog post or article. So you can see this is actually a different lead magnet. This is for the key shot rendering roadmap as it is up here at the top. But if you go to the home page, this is unlock 35 plus project files to level up your rendering skills today. So this is a project file vault versus the other one is a roadmap. So um, this is kind of a little bit more specific uh, and it has a different funnel. If you don't know what funnels are, you can go look them up, uh, but that's like a whole nother rabbit hole. Um, basically what it is, is it's a, whole, another, it's a different door for people to go down on your website to help you uh, be more in contact with your audience and provide them more value. Um, so. All of these have are very in depth, um, and we do have um, the images in lightbox mode. So when you open them up, you can see them a little bit bigger. You've got YouTube videos that la lazy load, um, and lots and lots of content. And at the bottom, we've got a nice little call out that's custom coded for his master class, which is hosted on Podia. Um, and then. At the bottom of every article, as long as there is a article that has a similar tag, um, there is going to be other articles linked down below, just like this right here. I need to let Will know because Will's the one behind all of this content creation that you're seeing. He writes every single one of these posts. Um, I just helped him move from Squarespace to WordPress. Um, if you want help moving from Squarespace to WordPress, I do have a course called Graduate Squarespace. If you use the coupon code YouTube, you'll get 20% off and you will be able to go from like, if you have no experience with WordPress, I will get you up and running, taking you from Squarespace to WordPress, making sure you don't lose any of your SEO juice and rankings and making sure everything comes across nicely. I spend a lot of time on that course. Um, and if you aren't happy, just let me know and I will give you your money back. No questions asked. This site I think is really clean. It's really minimal. So let's talk about uh, the data behind it, right? So let's talk about like, what does Google see? What's the page speed like? Um, you know, let's get a little bit more in the weeds, shall we? So first I wanted to go over the page speed because this is just like mind blowing. All right, so um, we've got, this is on, uh, this is at web.dev, so this is Google's PageSpeed Insights. So on the most popular page, currently we're running a 95, and that usually sits somewhere between 95 and 98 for performance. Um, I think I can still squeak out a little bit more. It's just a matter of uh, playing with a few things. Um, mainly, uh, it's a, uh, Facebook and Google uh, analytics are pulling just a little bit down on our on our coattails a little bit there. We are using SiteGround for our hosting. If you want to get uh, a good deal on, on hosting for your WordPress environment, uh, if you go to severinwebstudio.com slash SiteGround, you can get hooked up there. That's what I use for all my clients and for my site as well. Um, and accessibility is uh, 94, best practices. A couple of these, uh, this is silly. It's saying that this is serving in low resolution. It's only a 42 pixel picture, so uh, okay. Um, we'll be sure to get an 80 by 80 pixel for you. Um, so SEO is a 98, nice. Um, so everything is looking really good there. This is mobile, of course. Uh, you could view the report there, feel free to and put these in yourself and see how fast they are. Um, GT metrics, which gives you a little bit more information in some ways, 
but this is the desktop score 98 and 99, loads in 861 milliseconds. This is one of the most popular pages, it's very in-depth. Um, we've gotten some pages loading as fast as uh, 400 milliseconds. Um, it's crazy fast. Um, and most of you aren't even going to see it load this slow because you're probably on better internet. Um, and let's see here. So let's go take a look at what Ahrefs says, or Ahrefs, however you want to call it. I don't care. It's a SEO tool to help you track everything that's going on. So here's a little background on everything. So he started his site in 2019 and uh, has been slowly pumping out content pretty consistently. Uh, kudos to him for being consistent with the content. Um, but things started to fall off here in late 2020. Now, I don't know why that is. He was on Squarespace the whole time. I'm not sure what happened here to start sliding down the ranks, um, but it was happening. And then you have here in June, the Google Core uh, Web Vitals update happened where page speed was going to become really important. And we noticed a big jump down here. Look at this organic keywords. It's like we get a little spike right there in May. And then at the end of June, it just plummets down. So that, I believe, you know, correlation is not causation, but that's a clear correlation to me that things were happening with Google deciding, oh, your key, this keyword is not valuable enough because you're not loading fast enough. It's a possibility. Now, what's been happening here within the last year, let me just pull up. So we launched this site in uh, mid-September, September 17th, 2021. Uh, and so you can see that's right here. And right, oh, August, let's see here, September 17th. So you can see we've been riding a nice little uphill um, from here. It's been a pretty steady growth. But then we got some big, big spikes right here and right here. Now, this, this was uh, after we had moved over to WordPress. We kind of let things kind of simmer for a little bit. Um, and then I went in and made some big updates to speed. The biggest thing being uh, Google Safe, or not sorry, removing Google Fonts and actually downloading the fonts onto the server and having Web Safe fonts uh, installed on the website and having them preload from the website so it's not trying to connect to Google Fonts. That's a really big deal if you want to save speed. Even on Squarespace, you can do that. Um, it's quite an ordeal and a little bit of a process. I will be working on a video here shortly uh, within the next few months. Uh, breaking all that down. Um, but it's not for the faint of heart. You're going to have some trials and tribulations going through it more than likely. Uh, you got to convert fonts and all that fun stuff. Um, but it's a big payoff for speed, really is, unless you're just going to use web safe fonts. I feel like I've talked about this in a video before. If I have, I will link it up somewhere. Um, so yeah, we're seeing some really positive growth. Will is super stoked with the website because he feels like he can just get more squeeze out of his his website, right? He can get more juice out of it um, because he's got so much more functionality that he can bake in to his WordPress install versus Squarespace is very clunky when you try to add things to it. Uh, he was previously using Squarespace's email uh, setup as well uh, just to have everything, you know, easy to use, which I totally understand. That's why I love Squarespace. Um, it's easy to use and everything is, they, they're starting to make it so that everything is baked into Squarespace so that you don't have to try it and start a new account and like set something else up and integrate all that stuff. It's just all right there. So it's a really great place to start, especially if you're doing other things like Will was where he was creating YouTube videos and he just needed to dump out a blog post with this video and just move on. But now he's at the point where he's ready to kind of polish that website a little bit more, put a little bit more time and effort into it, and the rewards are paying off for sure. So um, as you can see, the traffic is just going up great. Um, he's getting a whole lot more opt-ins now because we're actually showing uh, you know, more opt-in boxes. Uh, so he's getting a lot more opt-ins um, and he's really happy. He feels like this is the, what he needed to do to take his business, his website seriously, um, because in the online world, uh, your website is your home. It's like it's your brick and mortar. Um, you know, if you if you don't have a brick and mortar and you have a website, that's kind of like 
where everything lives, right? Um, even if you're using YouTube or Google SEO or you're using Instagram or TikTok, whatever you're using to like get m the most amount of traction and the most amount of views and, and audience uh, growth, at the end of the day, your website is where people are going to go back to. Um, and then ultimately, the email list is huge uh, to start growing that. And he's got a really loyal uh, audience who really love his work and really love him. Um, and so this was really kind of the next evol evolution of that. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to do work on Will's site to continue just like, you know, just taking it to that next level, you know, just keep raising the bar. You know, I don't care what your website looks like right now. You can do better. You can always do better. You can always look at your competition and see what it is that you need to do to go that next step further. Now, if you would like more updates on what happens when you go from Squarespace to WordPress, be sure to subscribe as I will be doing this for another client, Alaska Vans, up in Alaska where they do camper van rentals. They are currently on Squarespace. We are still ranking number one, uh, sometimes number two. Uh, it kind of depends on the day. Uh, we're, you know, number two in the map pack and we've got uh, alaskavans.com showing up number one and number two for almost all of the camper van rental searches for Anchorage and Alaska. Um, but we just want to keep pushing that bar further, right? Like if you've got the top spot, you want to make sure that you keep that spot. Like you want to, you want to be almost cutthroat in your competition. You really need to, to stay ahead of the game, ahead of the pack. And if you're leading them, you need to set the pace and, and keep going. Um, so that's our plan with Alaska Vans is to uh, move them over to Carbonate also. And uh, we're just going to like turn up the volume a little bit you know we're gonna uh and that's what this is all about about moving from squarespace to wordpress is just taking things a little bit more seriously and just getting more out of your website um so you know i'm not knocking squarespace i know this is kind of like a versus video right um but squarespace is a really great place to start if you're already overwhelmed with how sophisticated it is to get a website up and running like you're already running a business on the side or maybe you just wanted to start a blog you should start with squarespace really like if if you're overwhelmed with looking at the wordpress and like themes and all that please start with squarespace and then move over graduate from squarespace at a later point in time when you've gotten you know 50 blog posts 100 blog posts completed you can then export that blog into WordPress. Now, it's a little bit of a pain. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit difficult and a little bit of time, you know, but you could do it in a weekend and you could transfer everything over. Or, you know, your business is doing really successful and you can hire me to move it over for you. Um, you know, all these things are an option, but you can do it. Uh, you know, whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve. And uh, if just putting up a website is seemingly overwhelming, then seriously just start with squarespace um you know i have plenty of videos showing you how to customize squarespace um, i will be having more videos out soon about how to build sites for for squarespace just because i think it is a great place to start um, and uh, without further ado i have clearly rambled on for almost 20 minutes now just like i said i would uh thank you coffee if you got any enjoyment or like any knowledge out of this that you helped you kind of move along and make your decision uh, please, please leave a like and uh, a comment down below on what you learned or what your takeaway was. Um, and again, if you want to graduate from Squarespace, be sure to check out my course down below. Use the coupon code YouTube for 20% off. And until next time, peace.